Hello everybody, Sans with H&H. &H. Today we're doing a little, little, actual little rockfish video. This is a beautiful rockfish. It's a canary rockfish. It's coming out of a juvenile color like now, you're losing some of the lack on it. Rockfish are probably one of the most prolific fish on our coast, on the whole west coast of the United States pretty much. There's like over 50 species of different rockfish. Different depths they live, all the way to the very shallows, all the way out to the deep water. They're kind of our, our basic fish that everybody likes to eat. There's so many different things we can do with this fish. It's a, just a really basic white meat fish. It takes the recipe of any kind of cod or any kind of snapper or anything like that. This is what we can use. They're actually called red snapper a lot of times in the markets when they're, they're not actually, they're rockfish. There's all kinds of different colors. This one has all the classic colors of a rockfish. These oranges and yellows that actually turn brown underwater and create camouflage. The thing about rockfish is rockfish are one of the only fish species that actually has sex. They actually give birth to live young. It's crazy. Like when they're, instead of fetting the eggs and they melt out, the eggs go out and so does the sperm. And then they, that's how they fertilize these actually have sex. I guess it's very rarely been seen as a couple little footage, but it is a funny little fact about these guys. Anyway, um, I'm just going to show you how to break one down real quick. There's a million different things you can do with rockfish. Like I said, one of the fair things to do with rockfish is leave them whole. Um, skin on, skin on is always a good thing. That you can use the back of a knife or a scraper or anything you want and actually just going backwards against the scales gets the scales off all the way down the fish got to be really careful of the spines they got a mean spine right here always it'll get you then all these spines get hurt some of them hurt worse than others as far as different species of fish anyway so that's got beautiful skins one of the things i like to do is take this after it's been gutted and then just score it like this right across the fish and you can actually put some herbs and stuff into a deep wok full of hot oil and with a little bit of chili or whatever else you want to put it and it's just the best way to eat especially on fish this size but what's mostly done with these guys is filleting them it's really not that hard got a couple other videos on filleting fish like this the meat goes up behind the head here so we actually do do a cut the cut goes right up through the back right here and then out through the stomach knife goes down to the backbone and when it gets onto the backbone, just kind of follow it. The follow the backbone. It's actually right along there. You can feel it when it gets down to the spine. Too deep, it starts. Too high, it slips out. Comes out like that. And then a beautiful little fillet here. Um, this is the stomach cavity. So usually, usually these bones are taken out. It's up to you whether you want to take them out. And uh, comes off right there. And you have a beautiful boneless fillet. In this case, we have the skin on, which I think it tastes good. Got a lot of good good qualities to the meat helps keep it together i usually leave the skin on always but some people don't like to keep the skin or think that the recipe doesn't call for it which is going to be us uh, you take a little cut you get down to the skin and you can kind of feel the knife when it gets down to the skin and then you just kind of like when you're flaying you just gotta kind of push and pull and the skin usually comes right off all that oops got a little bit left there but let's get a little feel and uh get it off there but now you've got your classic piece of fish, fish and chips, fish tacos, anything you want to do with it. Feeling dumb, it's actually boneless. I prefer, like I said, eat them whole. So, but it's up to you. Uh, I'll show you in this, this is what I'm talking about, about scoring now. The skin comes off, scales come off. They're really fresh fish, it's kind of tricky in this situation. Just keep going. Backwards of a knife, some people have a little fish scaler at their house. And then what I do, give it a little rinse, head on, tail on, is just score right down to the bone. Right like this, you can put a little piece of ginger, some garlic, or something right inside of those, and then when you deep fry it, it tastes good. Another fun thing to do is like this. Once you got that score, is do this score. And then when you actually, when fish cooks up, it comes off in pretty little cubes like that when it comes out of the deep fryer. Do you have a deep fryer at home? Like I said, I, if I'm doing the one or two fish I like to use, I like to use the wok because the wok's nice and deep, holds the oil, gets in there, tastes insane. You can eat the eyeballs and scare all your neighbors. Uh, there's little bits of meat here all over the head, so you really get in there. I like to do a little dredge with um, all-purpose flour and then a little bit of uh, rice flour, salt and pepper, and it's just super yummy. You can use panko if you want. Get your oil up to about 350, and uh, there you go. Beautiful little... Rock fish. Yeah. A deep fryer. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Enjoy.